So I just got my hands on a clone of Initio's Oud for Greatness. How close will it be to the original? Stay tuned to find out. started this video is being sponsored by my friends over at the fragrance decant boutique they did provide me a sample of the original um, initio fragrance oud for greatness and we'll get to that in a minute uh, but i did want to tell you guys a little bit about their company uh, if you guys aren't familiar with them they they sell uh, lots of different um samples of fragrances so that way you guys don't have to go out and buy uh, full bottles and spend hundreds of dollars you guys just go to um decantboutique.com and you guys can check them out. They sell um, the most popular uh, niche fragrances as well as designers. They also uh, sell like uh, merchandise so you guys can put your fragrances in. Um, they, they just came out with some of these really cool um, like uh, other companies will sort of have the same kind of sprayer but it has a little uh, twist cap on there and you, you know, you were pretty much familiar with these little twisty uh, atomizers here, but they sell these now, and they do come in this really cool little tube here that's kind of reminiscent of the Dior uh, private lines. Their little um, samples come in these little tubes as well. So really nice, uh, but you guys can get those on the website as well. Um, but yeah, so thank you, Tim, over at uh, the Fragrance Decan Boutique for hooking me up with a sample of Oud for Greatness, um, because if it wasn't for him, I couldn't make this video. In the opening of the video, I did get my hands on a clone of Initio's Oud for Greatness, which is a very expensive fragrance. I believe it is $3.85 uh, uh, on the website, and I'm sure you can find it cheaper here and there, but that's a pretty pretty, uh, pretty expensive fragrance uh, for a 90 mil fragrance. Um, and I did find the, the clone that everyone uh, was talking about recently. It's uh, called Oud for Glory, and it's from the house of Latafa. Uh, I believe that's what they're called. Um, and yeah, so if you guys are familiar with uh, Oud for Greatness, this this uh, this uh, bottle looks pretty almost identical to the one from Initio. Uh, but I will show you guys the uh, the presentation this comes in. It does really come in a really nice box here. Has a little hologram, I guess, for authenticity. Uh, information on the back, it does open up like so. I mean, for a fragrance is 385, the original um, uh, Oud for Greatness. Uh, the Oud for Glory is uh, around 55 bucks, so uh, that's that's pretty cheap. If you guys can find that, um, maybe you can find it on eBay or something else cheaper. But Amazon is protected, you know, and they um, you know they do refunds pretty quickly if you if you think you got a fake. So I do trust Amazon quite a bit. But yeah, I think they're 55 bucks on there. Again, I'll leave the links in the description below. Uh, but that's the box for uh, Oud for Glory, and here is the bottle right here. Like I mentioned, uh, I'll here I'll, I'll put them side by side here. Uh, this bottle is pretty much, uh, I don't have the other bottle uh, in front of me, but it's pretty identical to the original um, Oud for Greatness. I did own some um, some uh, uh, initial fragrances in the past, and these uh, this bottle does resemble some of their bottles. Maybe it's not exact, but this is still a good-looking bottle. It's very heavy. Uh, it does have uh, gold, uh, I guess that's a Latafa maybe um, insignia there on top. I don't know if that's going to zoom for you guys. There it goes. Um, nice and a metal little placard here on that. Uh, it's nice. It has the same sort of metal heavy placard on the front. It does resemble the uh, original um, label on uh, the original Oud for Greatness. Um, and here is the atomizer, nice and gold. Very heavy cap. It's not magnetic, but it's super heavy and sturdy. I mean, there's definitely uh, a lot of quality in this uh, in this uh, presentation, which I'm, I'm very impressed by. So Initio's Oud for Greatness in the top. Uh, it's saffron, and nutmeg, and lavender. In the mid, there's oud, and in the base, there's patchouli and musk. Uh, and uh, like I said before, the only uh, difference I could find in the oud for glory was that they added uh, oud, I believe, in the base and maybe in the top, um, which I don't, you know, it, maybe they just added extra oud, uh, or they added like patchouli. I think they added extra patchouli and extra oud. Maybe there's oud in the base as well, and then patchouli in the mid or something like that. Um, but I, again, it's the same exact notes. I just put them in the separate like categories, like the mid, uh, the top, mid, and the base. I don't know if that was an accident or not, if that, if that really applies to uh, the fragrance at all. But uh, yeah, so I, I did, like I mentioned, I did have the uh, sample here of the original um, Oud for Greatness, and I do have the bottle of Oud for Glory. So I'm gonna spray them side by side on each hand and, and let you guys know if, it's, if they're similar uh, or not. So let's give this a uh, first impressions. So let's go. 
All right, here we go. So I'm going to put the original Oud for Greatness on my left hand, being that is usually the hand that I go uh, whenever I do these first impressions videos. Um, and this is the original, so I thought I would give it its uh, its full um, its full like respect, I guess, being the original. Uh, here is the decant that I did get from Fragrance Decant Boutique. It comes in a nice glass atomizer with a cap on here, plastic uh, atomizer. Uh, it does have a gold label there, if you guys can see that. I'm not sure if that's going to zoom for you guys, um, but I will uh, show you guys the label. Yeah, it's not going to zoom, but you guys can see the cool gold label. Very professional looking decants here. And I will get my Oud for Greatness ready over here to my uh, right. And I'm getting ready to spread my left hand. Here is Oud for Greatness by Initio. Try to get a couple of decent sprays to cover. There we go. Okay. Now, if you guys are familiar with this fragrance, it's that I've only smelled this once before, and it was literally Brandon had a bottle of it. I think I maybe sprayed my hand once, and that was it. But this is a very uh, inoffensive oud fragrance. Definitely get the oud, but it's very sweet. Getting a lot of the nutmeg, so it's a little bit gourmandy, and uh, there's a lot of musk in this. So before this fades too quickly, I'm gonna go ahead and spray my hand with the oud for glory, the um, the clone here. A couple of sprays. Okay. Okay, the Oud for Greatness, the original, is definitely sweeter right now. But they are very similar. This one has more of like a chocolatey vibe. But it has the same feel. This one's louder, it's sweeter. Um, I'm getting definitely getting more saffron in this fragrance than, than the Oud for Glory. This seems to have more of a resinous, darker take. Almost more of an earthy take to it. Maybe it's the patchouli kicking in. Like I mentioned, the, the note breakdown for the Oud for Glory did have like patchouli in two different spots, like in the mid and the base, I think. So maybe they added a double dose of patchouli. I'm not really sure how that works, but... I'm definitely seeing similarities here. I will say the Oud for Greatness is definitely... You could tell there's a little bit more quality here. It's definitely smoother. It's a little bit louder. Um... And so it's jumping off my skin just a little bit more than the Oud for Glory. But I did put a couple of extra sprays, I guess, from the decant on this one. So I, I guess I'll be fair and I'll maybe give it one more spray. Just, But yeah. Definitely right now, like I said a second ago, the Oud for Greatness, the original, is going to be smoother, higher quality, um, and a little more... Crowd pleasing, if you will. If, if I was gonna go between both of these right now, I would say this one is a little more crowd pleasing just cause it's sweeter and, and less harsh. Um, I'm not trying to say this is gonna be a super crowd pleasing fragrance overall. I'm just saying this might be a little bit more approachable than the Oud for Glory. Oud for Glory has a little bit of resins going on here. It's a little stickier, a little darker. But it's not a bad thing. I actually can respect this fragrance as well. Because this one is more mature. This one's a little sweeter. This one's a little bit more mature, a little earthy, a little more grown, a little bit more, um, I guess, Middle Eastern, because this is a Middle Eastern um, house, uh, Latafa. So maybe maybe they did that on purpose. Maybe they're like, hey, you know, our, our, our fragrance wearers on this side of the world, we love the Oud and we want a double dose of it. So let's just amp up where we think Oud for Glory, uh, or I'm sorry, where we thought Oud for Greatness went wrong, where Initio went wrong, right? So, I mean, that that makes total sense if that's what they did. They're like, hey, we got we, we got your interpretation of it. We're going to fix it where we think uh, it went wrong. And who knows, maybe they got uh, some noses together and they all sort of talked about it and <laughs> came up with, hey, we need to make it a little bit more resinous and a little stronger and darker. But I'm definitely getting the same DNA I'm definitely getting a very similar fragrance, but they're not exact. The Oud for Greatness is the original. The Initio is getting is getting um, very spicy and peppery. Not really sure where that's coming from. Maybe it's the the nutmeg um, taking on um, some of that saffron. I'm, I'm not really sure, but it's getting a little peppery. It's very spicy and sweet. It's dark as well, but it's not as dark as the Oud for Glory. Yeah, um, these are moving in a slightly different directions. 
Yeah, but I do think that the Oud for Greatness might be a little bit better, just just smoother, better quality, maybe a little bit more approachable. Um, unfortunately, it costs like, I don't know, <laughs> do the math here, guys. Four, uh, three, three and a half, four times the, the price of one of these, if you can get this for 55 bucks. I mean, that's, that's. Uh, I mean, I, this, is, this is not a bad fragrance, guys. Could someone spot these if they were just to walk by you? The difference? Probably not. Just walking by, no. You'd have to really put them on your skin side by side and smell them like I'm smelling them to really get the differences. Uh, they're subtle, but they're there. Yeah. Um, this one's getting spicy like the original, which is not a bad thing. I actually do like the spiciness. Of, of both of these fragrances and this one's definitely keeping the more uh, mature vibe this one's sweeter and a little uh, dusty a little dustier sweet powdery and a little dustier right now and I like this I do like this fragrance yeah um, getting darker still more mature not a bad fragrance for 55 bucks. These are pretty close, okay? Again, I don't think people are gonna be just doing what I'm doing and just putting them both on their hands. Now, I think it'd be smart if you did. That way, you could uh, distinguish which one you like more if you're really, wanna, if you're really looking at spending almost $400 on Oud for Greatness uh, or, or 55 on this one, then maybe this, is, this might be a little fun little test for you to do. But, Without keeping this video going on too much longer, um, I will say that the there is differences, but they are subtle. Um, uh, is it worth the difference in money? I'd say, I'd say maybe. I'd say maybe. I think this is worth. If you have a bottle of Oud for Greatness by Initio and you're thinking of selling it because you're not really sure if it's worth the purchase, I'd maybe pull a trigger on this one and then make your own choice, or, or, or definitely go to uh, the fragrance. Uh, decant boutique uh, online and, and get yourself a sample uh, I don't know if they sell this one but maybe they do and you can get a sample of both but yeah yeah if I can give you guys an update on this uh, just to let you guys know how they sit on my hands and how they develop I will give you a short one but right now I, I'm just definitely gonna lean towards this being more crowd pleasing and a little more safe, if you will. This one's more mature, a little more Middle Eastern. I think it has a double dose of oud and maybe even that patchouli. If if that breakdown and the notes was correct, and maybe they did add a double dose in there, that makes that makes sense why they would do that, or why why it would smell like this. Very dark and spicy, and resinous. This one's a little dusty and sweet, a little bit a little bit more tame compared to the. Um, Oud for Glory. So if you guys used to own or if you liked Oud for um, Greatness but you wanted, maybe thought it was a little too, I don't know, juvenile, mainstream, maybe not as in your face, maybe not as Oudy enough or mature enough, you might want to pull the trigger on this one. 55 bucks. I mean, this is a decent looking bottle. This thing's heavy. It's, it has a, even has a gold plate on the bottom if you guys can see that. This thing will ever zoom. Yeah, gold plate on the bottom, gold plate on the cap. Go play it on the front. I mean, this is a really sturdy bottle, really nice box. I mean, 55 bucks, you're getting a good, a good, decent uh, pr uh, uh, presentation here and a decent fragrance. This is not a bad fragrance. This, is, this smells really good. It's going to come down to the performance, I guess. And so, yeah, I might have to throw you guys a quick little update. Nothing over the top. I'm not going to go into seasons and all that stuff like I normally do. Um, I'm really trying to do more videos where they're just sort of cut and dry. Let's just get to the nitty gritty. That way I can get more videos out to you guys. But yeah, so hopefully this video helped out, uh, at least this first half of the video. And, uh, you know, uh, I think I, I might want to keep my hands on this one. We'll see. I mean, maybe I just, I won't like both either fragrances overall. I mean, who knows? But we'll see. All right, so maybe I'll give you guys an update shortly and just on how they perform, uh, over, maybe over the next couple of hours. And just, you know, maybe shoot something quick. Uh, on my phone or something we'll see but until then guys uh hope the hopefully this uh, video helped out and uh have you guys tried this fragrance let me know your thoughts on this fragrance down in the comments below all right guys well i'm back with a quick update for the oud for glory from the house of latafa i will say this is a decent fragrance and this fragrance has uh lasted just as long as the oud for greatness uh lasted that was the original from initio 
Um, you do get a lot of oud in the opening blast of this fragrance. Probably first, fifth, you know, 10, 15 minutes, you'll, you can really get that oud. Uh, but after that, it, it really does die down to a mostly uh, saffron, nutmeg, and slightly a little bit of lavender. But mostly that, that nutmeg and saffron. Uh, so much saffron, in fact, that I did get a bit of a Baccarat Rouge vibe. And uh, we all know how that one has a lot of saffron in it. But, I, you know, it's not exact. But I do think this is a... I can see why this one's popular. If Baccarat Rouge was popular with its DNA, this is a warm, spicy, oud version of sort of that DNA. Um, again, this isn't exact. This doesn't you know smell like Baccarat Rouge 40, uh, 540 a lot. But this has a bit of that... Uh, I guess just that saffron, um, you know, uh, Baccarat sort of DNA in it mixed with some spicy notes. Uh, but overall, this is not a bad fragrance. For 55 bucks. I think you are getting a steal with this fragrance. So if you guys have tried Oud uh, for greatness from Initio, um, but you want to save money, I think you should give this one a try. Now, I will say that I do have a bit of that sample left, so I thought it would be a good idea to maybe send one subscriber uh, my sample that was given to me by uh, uh, Fragrance Decant Boutique. Um and give one lucky uh, subscriber a chance to do the same test that I did. Uh, I'll send you a sample of the Oud for Glory and send the sample um, that was sent to me by Tim. And you guys can have a little test for yourself at the house and maybe even do a reply video uh, to this one. Let me know uh, what you guys thought of this. All you have to do is just uh, leave, uh, you know, your favorite, um, I don't know, maybe your favorite Initio or your favorite clone fragrance in the comments below. And I'll just pick one winner. Um, what, today is Sunday, so maybe I'll pick a winner on Wednesday night, and we'll just, I'll randomly pick a winner, and, uh, I will, um, comment, um, on your comment, and you guys can, uh, email me your address, and I will send you guys, uh, the sample that I had of Oud for Greatness, and I'll send you guys a little sample of Oud for Glory, that way you guys can, uh, check, check it out, and let me know if I'm crazy for thinking <laughs> what I thought, but I, I will say, this is a decent little fragrance for 55 bucks, I think you're getting a good clone. And I do think uh, that uh, Oud for Glory definitely won this round.